Hello and welcome back to the Quotas Legacy channel. In this video, we'll explore how to use cookies with Scrapey. But first, what exactly is a cookie? A cookie is a piece of essential information or many pieces of information that gets stored in your browser whenever you visit a website. A cookie basically can store a session token, for example, like when you log into a website, then it generates a token, right? This can get stored within, within the cookie within the browser. So whenever you send another request to that website, then your session token is already within the cookie. So you will get logged in automatically. And this is basically what a cookie is. There are many other things that it's used for. It's used for user preferences. It's used for personalized ads, stuff like that. It really depends on the website that you're visiting, what cookies, what, what information it stores within the cookie and how they choose to use that to change your user experience. In today's tutorial, we're gonna take a look at how we can send our own cookies to the websites that we're scraping. Normally, we never need to worry about this kind of stuff because we're actual humans using the browser, which handles all of this for us. But this time we're using Scrapey, which is a bot. So it's, the entire thing is like simulated. We need to deal with the cookies manually. So how do we do this? using the start requests method. Basically, we're gonna be sending requests to this website over here, all right? Uh, it doesn't really matter which website it is. Well, actually it does, because what cookies you send will depend on the website that you're uh, you know, sending data to. Normally, when interacting with websites, we don't need to worry about this kind of stuff because the browser deals with it for us automatically. All that session and cookie stuff, the browser does it for us. But this is creepy. We're using a bot. This is not a human. So we need to do this stuff manually. Now let's assume that I want to send a cookie to this request object, which is going to go to this website. All right. Now I could call this cookie uh, cookies, right? And then I define a dictionary here of cookies, like token, for example. This is just a random token I came up with. It's not going to actually do anything, right? I just want to show you how to pass one in and later on in this tutorial I'll show you a practical example. Okay, so I'm just going to pass this in over here. And yeah. Okay, I passed in a cookie. Now let me show you how to check how to get a cookie. All right? We've sent the cookie, but let's assume we want to check whether the cookie was sent properly and, you know, just get the cookie back because sometimes we don't even need to send a cookie. Sometimes the website will send a cookie back to us as well. So how do we do that? How do we figure that out? What we're going to do is print response dot headers. That's where the cookie is sent back to us in the headers. So header dot get list. Then over here, set cookie. All right, now I'm going to run this code. I know it seems a bit confusing right now. Just hold on, wait till the end of the tutorial and you'll understand this a bit better, okay? So here is our cookie, okay? Uh, and as we can see, the cookie is called a session, okay? This is what the website is using. The website uses a cookie called a session. This is what it has returned to us. You might be a bit confused right now because this is not the cookie that we sent, right? but this is the cookie that the website returned to us. Let me show you how to get the cookie that you actually sent. We do response.request.headers, then get cookie. And this should give us the cookie that we sent. There are two different cookies, you know, the ones that we send and then the ones that the website returns to us. And there it is. This is the cookie that we sent to the website and we can get it from the request headers. But the cookie in the response headers is the one that the website returns to us, okay? Now we can use this actually, we can use this uh, cookie that, uh, let me just undo that. All right, this uh, cookie that is has sent to us, we can now use this in future requests. So hypothetically speaking, if we were making another request, um, we could, do some, some, something like this, uh, yield this scrapey request and the cookies, we can pass in this 
uh, you need to do some formatting on this toe because um, let me just scroll up. This is unique. You kind of need to like parse this a bit. You need to split it first of all um, across that semicolon and etc. etc. You just need to uh, get this out of here, out of there. Okay, and then once you do that, then you can pass it into the cookie and you know you can basically reuse that session token with this request. And this can have, you know, benefits based on the website that you are scraping. Okay, you may or may not want this. Let me show you something else interesting though. I'm going to come over to this website. Let me just log out because I was logged in. I'm going to show you how to find out what cookies a website is using. I mean, I, I did kind of just show you how to. We can just use this to find out what cookies it returns. But I want to show you an alternate way. Just go to the login page or whatever page you want to on that website where you think cookies are being used, then since this is a, a dummy website, we just type in whatever. Okay. And then I'm going to press login. It'll log me in because it's a dummy website. Then, wait, I forgot. Oh, okay, it's here. In network, go in network, and these should be here. Click on login, and then go on cookies over here. There are many uh, of these. Headers, payload, preview, response. Then there's cookies over here. It's going a bit out of screen, but okay. Uh, out of the recording area, but this is the cookie. Okay, it shows you the cookie over here, session, and then the value of it. So what practical benefit exactly can we get from this? Well, we can observe the cookie being used and then go back and then use them in our own requests to this website, okay? Now, I have a whole video on automating logins in Scrapey, so I advise you to go check that out, okay? And then you can implement the cookie concept in there if you want to, but cookies are basically very generalized. Like, uh, for example, there's uh, language. Language is also a very common cookie. Uh, now, the exact key name is probably gonna vary a bit from website to website, but this is just an, an example. So the language, language is usually EN, which is English, and might be different. So if there's a website that by default loads in, say, French, and you want to load it in English, so th then you're gonna pass a, co a cookie that says language, language is equal to English. Get it? That's the entire point of cookies, basically. User preferences, sessions, etc., etc. All right? So this video was very generalized. I know we didn't really discuss anything too practical, mostly theory, kind of, and just testing. But uh, that's what scraping is like. You can't really hard code this stuff because every situation is different depending on the website that you're scraping. Regardless, I hope you found this video useful and informative. Subscribe to the channel for future updates like this, future content about Scrapey. All right, see you guys in the next video.